assalamu alaikum and good morning and welcome you all once again in the uh, lecture of the series of the bio states uh, in the today lecture is the lecture number 6 and the lecture number 6 today we will go to learn about the normal distributions in the normal distributions what's actually normal distribution is said if the data is normally distributed if the data is normally distributed it is always give the bell shape so you are looking over here that the shape of this normal distribution data which is i draw over here you see it is give the bell shape the first now what is the properties of the normal distribution the first property of the normal distribution it is always give the bell shape okay and the second one these bell shape is always symmetrical symmetrical in shape why it is a symmetrical in shape because in the normal distribution if you see the mean mode median present on the center the half of data is present on the left side and half data is present on the right side so it is symmetrical in shape and the it is unimodal the mean mode median is which is present in center and it is unimodal so that's why it is a symmetrical in shape the third property the third property is the half of the data is lies on left side and half on the right side right side now this is the center of the data this is center of the data now it is a zero the half of the data is present on the left side and the half of the data is present on the right side so the this half portion is 0.5 minus 0.5 and this 0.5 plus 0.5 so the 0.5 present on the right side and 0.5 present on the left side so the half of the data on the left side and the half of the data on the right side now the third property the left side of the data left side of data is give the mirror image is give the mirror image mirror image of right side because has i told you and the and the second property that the this bell shape is a symmetrical in shape because why it is symmetrical shape because the second property is depend on the third one because the half of the data is present on the left side and half data is present on the right side now the fourth property is depend on the third one because half is present on the left side and half present on the right side so definitely the half of the data which is on the left side data is give the mirror image of the right side okay now the fourth property the fourth property is said the mean mode and median of data lies in the center the data the the in the bell shape the it is in the bell shape the normal distribution in the the center the mean mean of the data mean means mu or x bar x bar is the mean of the sample and mu is the uh, mean of the population and in the median and the mode the mean mode median of the normal distribution data is always present on the center of the data okay now the fourth property 
the fourth property of the data is says the fourth property of the data is says the total proper total probability is one total probability is always equal one or hundred percent is total property is one or hundred percent you know very well the total property is always one or hundred percent so that's why the the fifty percent the fifty percent or point five uh, of the data is present on the right side and fifty percent present on the left side so total is hundred percent or total property is one right now what's the other properties of the normal distribution is says here i have draw the three line one is standard deviation uh, two is standard deviation and three is standard deviation on the one is standard deviation on the one is standard deviation the 68% of the data the 68% of the data is lies on the one standard deviation under the normal curve and on the two standard deviation the on the two standard deviation is 95% data lies under the normal curve on the three standard deviation the 99.7% or 99% data lies under the normal curve on the three standard deviation now this bell shape is also not of the normal distribution is also called the gaussian the feder gaussian in the 15th or 16th century he discovered all the proportion or the percentage which is present under the normal curve by the gaussian so it is called the gaussian distribution as well so the all the table the z table f table t table and z table it all discovered by the gaussian mathematicians so now we will say uh, as i said over here on the one standard deviation 68% data is lies on the two standard deviation 95% data is lies and three standard deviation 99% data is lies under the normal curve now we will go to prove it Uh, how uh, we will go to prove it through the z table the z table th through the z table we will prove it uh, that how how can a uh, 68% of the data is lies on the one standard deviation so this is the z table in the z table if you look in the z table in the in the row it is written the z score in the row it is written the z score it is start from 0 0.0, 0 and 1 uh, 0.1 0.2 0.3 0.5 1 2 3 till to the 3 and in the column it is the decimal is written over here two decimal is written over 0.00 0.01 0.02 0.03 0.04 0.05 0.06 0.07 0.08 0.09 0.10 0.11 0.12 0.13 0.14 0.15 0.16 0.17 0.18 0.19 0.20 0.21 0.22 0.23 0.
means 68.26 percent. Roughly, we can say 68 percent. Right? As I told you, on the one standard deviation, the 68 percent of the data is lies under the normal curve. So we prove it. How we we prove it through the z table. Now. The second I say is on the two standard deviation, the 95% data is light. Now, again, we will go to use the Z table. See in the Z table, here, here it is written as a two. Now see the value of the two is 0 0.4772. 0 0.4772. Point four seven seven two. Now point four seven seven two is present on the right side and point four seven seven two is present on the left side. Now we will error. Point four seven seven two of the left side we will add up four 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 uh for seven and seven is fourteen, fourteen seven and forty, fourteen plus one is fifteen. And a eight, eight, uh, four plus four is eight, eight plus one is nine. Point nine four four. Then we can say ninety five point four four percent. Means we can say that the ninety five percent data is lies on the two standard deviation under the normal curve, and we will prove it through the z table. Now the third one. The third. Third one, we say is the property is we say that the 99.7 percent of the data is lies under the normal curve on the three standard deviation. Now, uh, again, we will use the z table. If you see here, this is a three, and the row is 0 0.003. If you will add up, it become a three. Now, see the value of the 0 0.4987 0 0.49 now the value of the 99 percent 0 0.4987 0 0.4987 present on the right side and 0 0.49 is present on the left side now we will add up 0 0.4987 it become a 4, 16, 16, 1, 7, and 18, 18, 19, and a 4 plus 4 is 99. 0 0.9974. Then we can say 99.7%. Roughly we can say the 99%. So the three properties which is we said the, that the on one standard deviation, 68% of the data is lies under the normal curve. On the two standard deviation, is 95% data is lies under the normal curve. And on the three standard deviation, 99% data is present. And we prove it the, through the Z table that how the 68% on the one standard deviation and 95% uh, on two standard deviation and 99% on three standard deviation the data is lies under the normal curve so for the two day session we just uh, stop our lecture over here uh, it is uh, i hope it is clear your concept about the normal distribution what is the normal distribution says what are the proper uh, four or five properties of the normal distribution or the gaussian gaussian distribution and uh, how uh, uh, on one standard deviation in 68 percent data uh, percent is lies under the normal curve and the, on the two standard deviation 95 percent data is li lies under the normal curve on three standard deviation 99 percent data is lies under the normal curve and then we have also proved it through the z table uh, if you any sort of query if any question you can email me or you can comments in my youtube channel inbox in the last I request you all to watch my video lecture of the biostates properly. It is uh, enhance your knowledge and grip in the statistical, numerical and the solutions. 
and I request you all to subscribe my YouTube channel and press the bell button. You will get the lecture as soon as I will upload on my YouTube channel. Thank you so much.